I don't know why I'm sorting my hair out, because I ain't got none. Hello, guys and girls. How are we doing? Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Didi. I am, honestly, a professional Class 1 HGV driver. Honestly, I really am. Welcome back to part two, but really part three, of Euro Truck Simulator 2. There we go. I take pride and place in the naughty corner. So, let me tell you what happened. Why we uh, look for a job. We'll look for, actually, we'll look for a job first. Oh no, I've got a skill point. I've got a skill point. What did I, I went with ADR because that's what I want to do in real life. Probably the wrongest choice that could be wrong, but there you go. Let's find a little job so I can have a little, a little natter. Cheese. <laughs> Sausages. Cardiff to Southampton. Sarges. Sawdust. Cardiff Southampton. Yeah, whatever. Cardiff Southampton. Let's crack on. What are we in? An oud milk. Oh, my God. Where are we in? Sausages Cardiff to Southampton. 148 mile in a Scania. Let's go. Let's go. Right, so, the problem that I have had, let's, um, actually, let's get me, I suppose best get me feet on pedals, and I ain't going to go far without my feet on pedals. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, I've, 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 had, I've, had a, I've had a couple of, couple of cheeky ones. Right, so, let's get in, oh, sugar, I forgot all my buttons. Right, that's look back, I know that one, that looks like that. That's all I need to do. Right, how do I get out of here? Evidently not that way. Evidently not that way. Oh, what's going on now? I'm stuck. Ah, there we go. Right, that means having to go backwards. Going backwards is never a good thing. Oh, you got to press accelerator, go backwards. Okay. I see, I see. I'm getting, I'm getting here, I'm getting here. So we have some side lights on. Right, I've just absolutely mullered my Susie's. I apologise. Sorry, sorry, Susie. You've been stuffed. Right, we're going. Indicators. We need some of them. Come out of here and go right. Set that right again. God, man, what is going on? Oh. <laughs> Okay, right, we're moving. Get rid of that. You go. Right, so I recorded a couple of episodes of Euro Truck Simulator 2, all back to back to back. Happy, nice. I'm speeding. What a fantastic start. What a fantastic start. Right, so I recorded a couple of episodes and I didn't realise that my recording settings were no good so as you all saw the recording was choppy really really choppy and everyone said it's your graphic settings or whatever it's your video settings and it's not excuse me my playback is completely fine my playback's bang on you know my computer can handle the game but I have mail cool but when I record and put it into Premiere Pro and export it it's really really choppy and really laggy so I've had to delete the other two episodes and I'm starting back here again <clears throat> so I've messed about today for about an hour and a half trying to figure out what the issue is and I thought I had it solved I had reduced my frame rate to 24 frames a second and I thought that I'd nailed it um, I did a little bit of a test on a, a on an old an old pro well a different profile I started a new profile and did a bit of a test on that and at first it looked alright so today I thought right I'm gonna record a couple more a couple more episodes so what I did first was I started 
um, OBS Studio up and I just did another test and all I did was reverse the trailer in a DHL bay because I've um, downloaded some of them mods that you've told me to download. I've downloaded uh, petrol stations and petrol stations and real companies so I've got DHL, FedEx, TNT and a couple of others I, th I think anyway I don't know like I've told you in the comments I'm absolutely useless on computers and laptops and stuff I don't I don't understand them are you gonna are you gonna let me go Mr. Y car or is this a case of I'm just I'm just gonna have to come in and tough watch my trailer thank you <laughs> so yeah I've downloaded a couple of mods um, and I've but I've messed about with these these settings I've been messing for about two hours with them um, 720p 1080p um, 60 frames a second 30 frames per second 24 frames per second I've tried using the Xbox recording bar that come with this actual laptop thing and that started out all right at first and I thought hey I'm onto a winner here with this I can just use the Xbox recording bar and happy days but it turns out that that's not much cop either the problem is when I'm going in a straight line I'm completely fine like now it should be all right I mean it looks completely fine for me it's when I'm turning a corner or when I am when I'm turning round in a bay or whenever I'm turning round you can just see things moving like that and it's proper annoying it's really annoying oh what trail is that no idea FCC <clears throat> so yeah I've put my settings on this one to a bigger file size whatever that means and it's on 30 frames a second but I've changed it from software recording to hardware recording whatever that means I don't even know what that means I have absolutely no idea I just clicked loads and loads of buttons and just kept pressing record and then doing a spinny and then going back and having a look what it looked like where did I say I'm going to Cardiff to Southampton that's what I said didn't I so I need to go down to Plymouth way I guess <laughs> So yeah, I've had a fiddle about with it. Um, let me know how it looks. You know, if you've watched my first video, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching it because I am I'm new to this face cam and I'm new to laptops and gaming and steering wheels and all that stuff. I'm new to all of this. So if you have watched it and you have commented, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I really do. I really do. Joining me on this new venture of mine. But I've just been talking to the missus and if this is something that's going to happen quite regularly, and I am enjoying this game, it's really good fun. I did play it with the keyboard a couple of for a couple of hours, like I say, before I got a wheel. And it was good fun. So I do want to keep playing it on my days off and whatnot. As sad as that sounds, but I love driving trucks, it's, it's my passion. You know, it's what I've always wanted to do and it's what I will always do. I'm never gonna go back to anything else. Because I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that this doesn't have a lane departure noises on like what real life trucks do and I'll start to just be absolutely horrific <coughs> every two minutes on daft <coughs> God I remember the first time I heard that oh I was driving Big and Daft if you've not seen Big and Daft it was uh, one of my first vlogs that I did when I got put in a, a quite large daft CF for someone that had just passed and I was going down M6 and it was raining and uh, it was dark, it was early in the morning it was dark and it was raining and you know on M6, if you're from around the northwest, on the M6 it forms a puddle that goes right where all the HGV tyres have been uh, Plymouth, Southampton, right hand lane I need to move over. no I don't, I'm staying in this lane the sat -nav says ok sat -nav, I will stay here Birmingham or Southampton over there I don't get that but okay um, it forms a puddle where all the HDV tyres have gone on the right hand side and I was just driving along happy smile on my face like hey <laughs> mooching down as you do 
and all of a sudden the lane departure system thing went off on the right hand side. Oh my god. Oh my god, I nearly had kittens, I tell you. I thought I'd broke the truck. I was like, what the what the F bomb is that? What the <laughs> is that? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it proper got me. So it's a good job it doesn't have it on this game, innit? Or else that'd be no good for me. With me weaving in and out like I do. So, uh, I wanted to upload the first one, even though it was choppy. I wanted to upload it because it, it was my first it was my first time on it. And you know, I couldn't never replicate that. That was always gonna be my first time on it with a steering wheel and whatnot. And I thought, you know, I need to be genuine, I can't be re-uploading it and then turning around and saying, oh, it's my first time on it, when it's clearly not. Let me blind spot. Yep, we're all right for that. Oh, no, I can just do that. Oh, shit me. Woo! <laughs> Where did that mini come from? You lunatic. Good grief, it's freaking mid -death. Put me right in the car on, because we're turning right. Turning right down here. Let's have a look at right. They're coming. Let's go. Um, if you know of any other mods for me to install, I mean, I don't know what trailer this is that I'm pulling. I can't, I can't even see it. I've no idea what trailer I'm pulling. But if you know of any other mods that I can install, if they're easy to find, let me know. Because I went on that workshop thing, someone... I always forget your names, I'm sorry. Someone talked to me through the process today in the comments section of my first video. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. And he said, go to Steam Workshop and you will, uh, you'll see all the mods and just install them. It was six and a half thousand of them. So I kind of sat there scrolling through them all for ages until I found a real life petrol station. All right, in your Mustang, Jesus. Yeah, I found the petrol station one, and then the real life companies one, but there still seems to be a hell of a lot of companies on here that aren't real. They're a bit, you know, fake, like this trailer I'm pulling now. Is that, why would that be? Is it something that I've done? Why, why are you brake testing me, so Brake checking me. <sighs> Lunatics on road, I tell you. Don't tell DVSA that I'm drink driving, whatever you do. I'll be knocking on door. And I reckon one of you is going to say, Why are you drinking a tarts drink? Because there's, there's nothing else for do apart from drink. So I'm just trying loads and loads of different drinks. I swear to God, when, when all this coronavirus is over and done with, the nation are going to be fat alcoholics. Because that's all I've done. I've just eaten and drink. I've just eaten and drink. Just eat some food and been drunk. <laughs> I can't even speak. Can't even speak. <sighs> what do you think of the first cam? Don't know why you wanted a first cam. Look at my ugly mush for however long. 14 minutes up to me. 14 minutes you're looking at my ugly mush. Thank you. And don't worry, I'm growing the beard back. And I'm growing the hair back as well. It's just... Why have no barber or hairdresser? There's nothing else to do, and I'm not letting my hair grow ridiculously long. I can't be doing with it. But yeah, I don't know if you can see the fridge in the back, in the background, over yonder. I was, um, I did tell that story in episode two that I recorded, and the missus ordered it without telling me from Curry's. Wasn't impressed. So I was sat there on Monday, Monday morning, sat there chilling out, minding my own business, watching Nigella Lawson, or whatever she's called, that chef. I think I was watching her, either her or her bikers. I gets a knock at door. Who's knocking on door at this coronavirus pandemic, you know what I mean? So I dons my visor and my, my goggles and my face mask, double gloves, gown on and everything. Sugar, I'm speeding. Just for make sure not. Woo! Oh! 
Oh, I just shaved the tail off that horsey. Oh, good grief. Oh, I bet that I bet that driver don't look too good either. I bet he's like that. Oh, Jesus. Good grief, I've got a sweat on now. Bloody hell, fire and brimstone, that were close. <laughs> anyway, where were I? Some, some talk about coronavirus, which is com completely irrelevant at this time. <laughs> I just nearly died. Bloody hell. Anyway, um, yeah, knock on door. So I, I get all my surgical gear on and goes to the door. And uh, he says, Hi, mate, I'm from Curry's. I've got you a fridge freezer. I said, I don't want a fridge freezer. I've not ordered a fridge. Well, Mrs. Alex, mm -hmm, as my missus. And I went, she's ordered a fridge freezer, are you serious? We've, you know, we've all... He's learned his lesson. <laughs> and this guy, he's empty. Why are you so slow? Come on, son. All right, blind crest. Never do this in real life, people. If you're 13, 14, 15, and you want a job in trucking, don't ever do this, never, ever. Thanks, son. Thank you. He slowed down then. Nice one. Um, so, yeah, I, he, I said, well, if she's on it, you're going to bring it in, aren't you? You know what I mean? He goes, the problem is it's an American fridge freezer, and I don't think it's going to fit through your door. Right. That's something she's obviously not going to think about, isn't it? Fitting the damn thing through the door. Fitting the damn thing through the door. So he goes, I'll go and get my tape measure. I said, right, alright then. So he wanders off and gets his tape measure and he comes back. And he puts it up to the door and he says, nah, it's not going to fit that bit. I went, right, so what are you going to do then? He said, well, we've got two options, he said. Well, he said, uh, how big's your back door? I went, same size as my front one, mate. He went, right, well, we've got two options. He said, I can either leave it and you can, you know, deal with it. He said, you can take the doors off or take your door off or whatever. He said, you know, your responsibility to get it in. I went, right, how heavy is he? He went, 104 kilogram. Right, okay. I know I'm a big dude, but 104 kilograms pretty heavy. You know, it's nearly the same weight as me. So I said, what's option two? He said, well, I can take it back. I thought, if, if he takes this fridge back, my missus is gonna castrate me. You know what I mean? Oh, sugar, I'm speeding. So, I says, you, you're going to you're gonna have to dump it in front garden, mate, and leave it there. He said, right, all right then, no problem. He said, are you sure? I said, yeah. He said, well, we've no paperwork for you to sign because I can't give you paperwork in this coronavirus thing. I said, yeah, no worries. I said, just go and get it for us. So he dumps it in my front garden. Honest to God, it's about six and a half. Oh, sugar. Side of road am I driving up now? I've not left that side of road we're in England for God's sake. So he dumps it in my front garden, right? Six and a half foot tall and about four foot wide. And I'm stood there scratching my head like what the freaking hell am I supposed to do with this? So I un cut all the straps off it and everything. Honest to God, when I opened the box, it was about 14 foot wide and about 10 foot tall this box. And I'd cut it right down the middle opened it up like a spatchcock chicken so I lies it lies the cardboard box down in the garden it's all covered in polystyrene and whatnot and I guess I'll phone to missus ring 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 I went ayo and she just went <laughs> all right I said you know what's happened then don't you and she went have they brought that fridge freezer yeah how big is it? I went, you proper set the piss you do love. And she's pissing herself laughing and I could hear her mates in the background pissing as well. My she were at work. Pissing. Psh. They were laughing. I believe it. She had a proper laugh at me. I had to take it bits, but get it in. And I had to fight with it and everything. I don't know what I've just pressed. Cruise control, that's what I pressed. 
I had to fight with it to get it in. And I messed about with it and messed about with it and messed about with it and finally got it in after about an hour of messing. You know, with the doors off it was about, what, 90 kilogram or something. She comes home and she walks straight, she says, hi babe, hello, hi, good day at work. Yeah, straight to the kitchen. Have you scratched it? No, I've not bloody scratched it, man. You better not, I'm gonna check it. It's like, yeah, nice one. All you're asked about is I've scratched it. I've scratched my knuckles, my knuckles are falling bits. I've got blood dripping down my hands and everything. And all you're asked about is if I've scratched your bloody fridge. Crackpot women. Who buys a bloody fridge on your day off? Seriously, they more important buying. <laughs> Mad women, aren't they? Anyway, we've just reached Southampton. Stop, son, stop. Good grief. Bloody hell. So now we've got the, uh, the humorous objective now of parking this damn thing. Oh my. <laughs> I just saw that truck facing me then and I thought, I'm on, so I'm on wrong side of the road again. Oh. Oops, check the mirrors. Right, Transnet, that's where we're going. We're going to Transnet. Oh, sugar. Oh, is he letting me go? Oh, thank you. Oh, I tell you. This game is so realistic. It's unbelievable. That's what people are like in real life. Right. Good grief. You fucking loons. Press the following key to it. Right. Where do you need it? Right, come on. We're, we're, we're doing this. Where do you need it? You need it right in front of me. So that means performing a U-turn. No, actually, we'll not perform a U-turn and do it easy. We'll try and do it the hard way. So I've just done a U-turn. I tell you, if brains were dynamite, I wouldn't have enough for blowing holes. Okay. Head out to the window. Let's put it in reverse. Hold on, son. Let's get that ass right here, dear old buddies. Put a bit. Oh, take it off. Take it off. Get a bit steep, though, lad. <clears throat> ah, you've left me too late now, son. You're gonna be in, but you're gonna be all cock and everything. There we go. We're in. Put thumb brake on. Drop me, how do I drop me trailer like that? I forgot. Joy button 9. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come on, on. How do I go back? Oh, for God's sake. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm a pro. I'm going to take it out of. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Excellent! We're done! Happy days! Happy days! What are we on? Still on level one as a newbie. I'm still, I'm, I'm still a newbie in real life anyway. Well, there you go. There you go. That's the delivery done. That's the talking done. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment. Uh, and if you want to see more of me doing this, because I am going to keep playing it, click that subscribe button. And I will talk to you all in the very next video. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the, G to, the G29 steering wheel. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. Much love. Bye.